Drake. Hi guys, welcome to Food and Drink. This is Brandon, and we're going to make Red Bull Kickers. Okay. Ready. Tell them what Red Bull Kickers are. Red Bull Kickers are just Red Bull with any kind of flavoring. That's ice. Ice? A cup? Simple and to the point. A straw, if you want to go back out. We're also going to be making Red Bull and vodka, but not just any normal Red Bull and vodka. We're going to be making a Red Bull Madness, which is Red Bull vodka and a bunch of other stuff. So let's start off with the first one. We're going to start off with the non-alcoholic one, which you can drink if you're not 21 or if you're a kid. Although I absolutely do. Absolutely do. wish I could have said that word. I absolutely do not condone children drinking Red Bull, but if you're those kind of parents, do you. So tell them the ingredients for Red Bull kickers. I'll do it as we go. Ice. Ingredient number one. Yellow. Yellow. Yellow for all of our non-English speaking viewers. So to make a Red Bull kicker, all you need is a Red Bull. This is the 8.4. The original one. And any kind of flavoring you want. They come in like these big bottles and you don't have a choice to get a smaller bottle. The only one we could find was raspberry. So we're going to do a raspberry Red Bull kicker. Yay. It's kind of like the flavored Red Bulls, but like they only have like a couple flavors, so you can kind of make your own flavored Red Bull. That's basically what this is. So this is like really concentrated, I guess. So like you don't want to use a lot. It smells divine. It does smell good. So I mean, it's like just a little. Please don't hit me with a bottle thing. I would like that much. And then you pour the Red Bull on top of it. Do you have like a spoon? Nancy, what? That looks really good. Spoon. Then we just stir it up a little. My favorite Red Bull kicker is banana blueberry. It just makes banana and blueberry flavoring into a Red Bull, but they didn't have that. Ooh, that's good. I don't really like Red Bull, but I like Red Bull mixed with these. That's so. the thing, I don't like regular Red Bull, but I always get the flavoring. But these are like really good because you can buy the bulk cases of this and one bottle of this. That's really good. And make like 32 of those. Like you don't really taste the Red Bull, mm -mm. but it still has like all the energy in it. That's delicious. It tastes like kidney stones. Oh man, they're passing it. <laughs> Mm. Here, try some. Don't be shy. Try right here. Don't Just be shy. Tilt, no, tilt your head There's back. There's no alcohol in that one. Tilt your head back. There you go. Don't spill it all over my sister's floor. That's rude. Disgusting. All right, guys. So that was our non-alcoholic drink. Now we're going to teach you how to make the alcoholic version of this, which is called the Red Bull Madness. Boom. I'm calling it that myself. Wait, didn't I come up with the name for it? No, I did. Earlier, and you're like, that's what I'm going to use? I think you said baby slut. Oh, would never. I did. We're not calling this drink baby slut. You can if you want to. <laughs> Voice. <clears throat> All right, so the ingredients for a Red Bull Madness is Red Bull. Uh, you can use the original Red Bull if you want, but it tastes better if you use a flavored one. So I'm gonna be using the Cherry Edition Red Bull. Uh, a glass, ice. You wanna take a shot of vodka before we start? Absolutely not. Just let it all out. Just let it all out. So what do we need? So... <laughs> the ingredients that you need for this Red Bull Madness are a flavored Red Bull, vodka, I'm gonna use Svetka imported Swedish vodka because believe it or not, this is the smallest bottle I could find. And it's so smooth. You're gonna need carbonated water or club soda or anything. Carbonated, really. Uh, I just didn't want to add more sweetness to the drink, so I didn't get like a ginger ale or a 7 Up. But you could use that too. I just wanted some carbonated water. What if I need browns? Schweppes. 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 I'm going to be using this raspberry syrup and for garnish, blackberries. Whoa. Okay, and to assemble this drink, honestly, pretty simple. No shaking or vigorous stirring will be necessary for this. Completely up to you if you want that though. Right, so here you have your glass with your ice. You're going to need to pour a little bit of the syrup because again, it's super concentrated. Two shots of vodka or however much you prefer. If you want to go hard and you want to do four to three or three to 10, that's fine. I'm just going to do two shots. Red Bull. Again, I'm using the Cherry Edition. Also, the Diet version, which that was completely accidental. Then you just fill the rest up with your Chueckies. Just to add a little bit more of a fizz, because you don't want this to be a flat drink. And then for your garnish, you're just going to add some blackberries on top. Or wherever. 
And there it is, your Red Bull Madness. Cheers. Try yours. It's a lot of vodka in it. It's really good though. That is good. Isn't that good? Yeah, you go ahead and put blackberries in your water. Also, eat blackberries because they're good. Honestly, the angle is wrong. All right, guys. Thank you for watching our food and drink video. Make sure to subscribe to his channel. I will leave all of his social media and his YouTube channel links down below in my description box. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it if you would leave a like, a thumbs up, leave me a comment of what you would like to see, who would you like to see me have on the show, and please hit the subscribe button, unless you've already hit the subscribe button, because if you do, then you'll unsubscribe, won't be able to see the video. Henceforth, your life will become crappy. Thank you, vodka.